Hey everyone, are you excited about the global launch of Warzone Mobile? I know I am. But did you know it's already available to download in many countries? But before you dive into action, let's talk about something important. Game optimization, especially for Android devices. We all know Warzone Mobile is graphically intense. And unfortunately, it's not always optimized well for Android. This can lead to laggy gameplay which nobody wants. So how do you know if it will run smoothly on your device? Well, that's where things get tricky. Unlike iOS devices where testing game performance is relatively straightforward due to device variations, Android devices come in all shapes and sizes. For example, if you are curious how Ozone Mobile runs on a specific iOS device like the iPhone 12 Pro, you can easily find videos on YouTube for first-hand impressions. But when it comes to Android, there are thousands of devices all with same chipset but different performance capabilities. Meaning even if your device has the same chipset as another, it might perform differently due to factors like heat management. But fear not, I have got a game-changing tip to help you minimize in-game lag in Ozone Mobile. When it comes to optimization, there are two main reasons behind poor performance. First, your phone may lack the necessary graphics for same power to run the game smoothly. And second, network lag can also significantly impact your gaming experience. When it comes to these two, there's only one you can bypass, network lag. Unfortunately, you can't change your phone's graphics processing unit unless you buy a brand new device. First things first, if you can't find Warzone Mobile on Play Store or it shows as incompatible with your device, don't worry, you can still download it using an app called TapTap. It's a lifesaver for getting games that aren't officially available on your device. Now on to tackling network lag. This can be a real headache but there's a solution. Gear up Booster. Gear up Booster ensures that you connect to the nearest physical server from your location. Sometimes the game may not automatically choose the closest server, leading to potential network lag. Even within the same region, there are multiple servers, and you might unknowingly connect to the one that's farther away, causing lag. Gear up Booster helps address this issue and ensures a smoother gaming experience. Have you ever felt a slight lag when encountering enemies in most games? That's the type of lag I'm referring to, and it has nothing to do with your device. It's caused by network latency, which can affect your gameplay experience. But here's the best part, you can try Gear Up Booster free for 3 days. Yeah, you heard me right. Test it out, see how much it improves your gaming performance and if you think it's worth it, you can purchase it. If you're on iOS, you can also use this app to get a much better gameplay experience. And hey, this trick doesn't work just for Wars on Mobile, you can use Gear Up Booster for other games too like Call of Duty Mobile and Blood Strike. So what are you waiting for? Download Gear Up Booster from the link down in the description and the pinned comment. And get ready to enjoy lag-free gaming on Wars on Mobile. And if it is still lags after trying out this app, well it might be your device and it might be time to consider upgrading to a better device. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. As Ozone Mobile gear up for its release in just a few hours, it's bringing with it green, gold and red versions of Ghost skin all available for free. Let's kick things off with the most well known version of Ghost, Ghost Condemned, the green version. All you need to do is pre-register for the game before its official release. As of recording this video, the game is set to launch in a few short hours, so hurry up if you haven't pre-registered yet, head over to Play Store, App Store and secure your spot. By doing so, you will unlock the following and the best items here are the Ghost Condemned Operator Skin, Prince of Hell X12 Weapon Blueprint and the Arch Fiend M4 Weapon Blueprint. Now the other two Ghost Skins, the Gold and the Red versions are earned through the brand new Day Zero launch event. When Warzone Mobile goes live on 21st, we are in for an Operation Day Zero event on 22nd. This includes two sets of rewards, the Community Rewards featuring the Golden set of Skins and the Individual Rewards which includes the Red set. Operation Day Zero introduces 6 contested zones, 5 world hours, and 1 course to take place entirely off Rebirth Island. By completing specific event actions within these zones, players can earn event points also known as simply EP. The EP you accumulate contributes to both individual rewards and overall community EP score, which unlocks Day Zero zones. A zone is cleared once players have collectively reached the required community EP displayed in game. Event points can be earned by engaging in any mode and completing specific event actions within a contested zone. The number of EP earned varies depending on the action completed. You can do the following to earn EP. You can open a supply box or day zero supply box. The day zero supply box is a special drop that allows players to earn event points more rapidly by obtaining items and gear. These supply drops offer superior loot, cash, XP and EP compared to traditional supply boxes. They are periodically dropped into the active zones and can be identified on the radar by a crate icon. You can also eliminate an enemy player. You can complete a contract. You can use a kill streak, you can land a headshot, or you can purchase items from the buy stations. Additionally, when warming up in the multiplayer mode of Wars on Mobile, players will earn EP for every elimination, but at a lower rate compared to eliminating enemies in Battle Royale mode. As the event starts, the first zone will become active. Players should complete specific actions while inside of the active zone to earn event points. As the event
when progresses and community EP milestones are reached, the next zone will activate, providing new opportunities for players to earn rewards. At the conclusion of the event, all players will have the opportunity to claim the following rewards that have been earned collectively. Gilded Devil King large decal for clearing zone 1, Scorch Beginnings animated calling card for clearing zone 2, Golden Blaze Emblem for clearing zone 3, Golden Flame X12 Weapon Blueprint for clearing zone 4, Heavy Thunder M4 Weapon Blueprint for clearing zone 5, and finally the best reward Golden Phantom Ghost Operator skin for clearing zone 6. Now moving on to the individual rewards, they are distributed based on the total number of event points that you contribute to the overall community score. The more event points you accumulate, the greater your individual rewards will be. There you will earn the following rewards, but the best one here is the Bloody Reaper Ghost Operator skin. And that's how you get all these 3 free ghost skins in Warzone Mobile. Now there's one important thing to remember. Rewards must be claimed within Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. But once claimed, they can be used across Call of Duty Warzone, the PC and the console version and also the Modern Warfare 3. So those who play the PC and the console versions of the game should also play this event to get these amazing skins. I'm personally most excited about the green version followed by the gold and then the red. But I want to hear from you, which version do you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't miss out on the Warzone Mobile Livestream rewards. By tuning in the livestream, you can score some awesome freebies including the Operation Day Zero Charm, Longbow Operation Day Zero and the Conic Vapor Operator skin, all for free. Here's what you have to do. You will need to link your YouTube account to Activision to claim these rewards. Let me show you how you can do that. Open your YouTube app and navigate to your profile by tapping on the bottom right corner where you will see the profile picture. Next, tap on the cogwheel icon on top right corner to access settings. Scroll down and select connected apps from the options. Look for Activision ID at the top of the list and tap on it. Now you will be redirected to Activision and you have to follow the prompts to log in with your Activision account. Once logged in, Activision will track whether you have watched the live stream using this linked YouTube account. So make sure you watch the live stream using this account to claim your rewards. It's simple as that. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more Warzone Mobile content. Until next time, have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one.